What's good with y'all, man? What's popping? I hope everybody's having a beautiful day so far. Um, before we start the video, make sure you hit that like button so we can get this in the algorithm. Also, hit that bell if you haven't subscribed already. That way you don't miss a video. I greatly appreciate you. So today we're going to talk about three ways you can protect your aura energy from hateful people. All right. I've been doing a few consultations and I've been getting this question a lot from men who have jobs or you just around certain people and they start to wear down on your aura right with negativity and them just having an unrighteous energy and it's starting to take a toll on your energy right bringing your vibration down so i want to make this video man to kind of clarify some things and also help you guys be able to combat this all right you don't want anybody pulling down your energy okay so make sure y'all stick around for the whole video because we're about to tap in the first thing, guys, you have to do to protect your energy from hateful people is don't take everything so personal. All right. You got to realize most people out here are just spell catchers walking around catching spells all day, every day. A lot of people are spiritually dead, so they see things. They're getting programmed by all these different um, illusions that come into their into their into their reality. Right, you watching TV, you looking at commercials, you looking at billboards, you hearing conversations, and all these things are programming your subconscious. All right, and these people are playing out these energies through their actions, but they have no conscious awareness of that. Okay, so you can't take it personal. You just have to understand that people are just reflecting how they feel about themselves, and they may project that energy onto you. And once you have the awareness of this, it will be easier for you to counter these attacks. Okay? Don't take it personal, man. People are just playing out their traumas. That doesn't mean you have to gravitate toward that trauma and play it out yourself. Okay? I heard this lecture by Bobby Hemmett, and he was talking about how if you were to go to the doggone tribe or, or you know, some ancient tribe... That has no ties with uh, current civilization. And you would say something like, you know, oh, your mom was fat or something, you know, insult them. They would probably look at you and laugh because they had no understanding that you just insulted them. They're on such a high vibration that they don't even see that as an insult. They don't understand it. They can't comprehend it. All right. So you got to take that same formula and you just have to understand that everything shouldn't be offensive to you. So you got to so you got to take that same formula. Put yourself on such a high vibration through your actions and through what you indulge that somebody insulting you don't even phase you. Somebody coming at you with negativity don't phase you, man. Right? They can only get under your skin if you stoop down to that level and let it get to you. All right? And I'm going to leave it at that. The second thing you have to do to protect your energy from hateful people is killing with kindness now before i say this i want to make this disclaimer now i'm not telling you to be a pushover in no way shape or form you know what i'm saying you stick up for yourself when you have to but don't fight fire with fire okay if somebody coming at you with negativity trying to bring you down find a way to counter that okay for every for every problem there's a solution all right if you guys remember Pokemon, you know, if you was into that type of thing, I grew up on it. So that's why I'm using this as an example. But you notice every Pokemon has a certain element or nature about them. You, know, you got fire Pokemon, grass Pokemon, water, etc. OK, and each element has its strengths, but also has its weaknesses. OK, so a fire Pokemon is weak to water Pokemon. Grass Pokemon are weak to fire. You know what I'm saying? They all have strengths and weaknesses. So, you got to treat these encounters like a Pokemon battle, okay? Somebody come at you with this nature, with this certain element, you got to go through your roster and find the right element or the right Pokemon with the right element to counter that opponent. You feel what I'm saying? 
If somebody coming at you with fire BS, you know, this fire energy, you got to find some water energy, right? You know what I'm saying? So treat treat these encounters like a Pokemon battle. There's always going to be a counter for energy that's coming at you. You feel what I'm saying? Kill them with kindness. Somebody coming at you with hateful energy. Somebody coming at you with low vibrational energy. Come at them with laughter. Come at them with, with happiness. Come at them with compassion. You know, and that's going to counter. It's going to balance that energy out. And over time, these people are no longer going to be effective, you know, when they're trying to bring your energy down. It's not going to affect you anymore because you know how to counter that. Sometimes you got to get your hands dirty. And sometimes people come at you the wrong way. You might have to get a little physical. You know what I'm saying? You might have to kind of bring that fire to them. You know what I'm saying? And tell them how it is. Tell them how you feel. But in most cases, man, when you don't stoop down to people's level and you don't um, tap into the, the vibration that they're bringing to you, you do the opposite. You counter them with this other energy, right? You will smother theirs. You will smother it. It'll go away. You will take them away. You'll end up canceling out the energy that they're giving you. Okay, guys? So know your arsenal. Know your tools that you have to go out into this world, man. Okay? The best way you can protect yourself is knowing your powers. Knowing your capabilities. You feel what I'm saying? Don't let people get under your skin. All right? Don't stoop down to people's level. Kill them with kindness. And that goes into my third way to protect yourself, protect your aura around hateful people. And that's staying true to yourself, right? You having a good day. You happy, man. You got good vibes. Somebody come along with some BS, you know, some negativity. And they'll try to put their misery on you to try to bring you down. Because remember, misery loves company. So people who are miserable, people who are unhappy, they're going to... They're going to uh, reflect that energy and try to catch somebody. It's like throwing, you know, it's like you fishing. You throw out the hook and the bait and you're hoping somebody catch it. That's what they're doing, man. These people with that's, that has this low vibrational energy, hate, jealousy, you know, all these things, negativity. What they're doing is when they get around people, they're throwing out the that line hook and the bait. And they're trying to catch somebody because misery loves company. Right? They want somebody who they can feed that energy back and forth off of. So what you got to do is stay true to yourself. If you're having a good day, why are you going to let somebody else bring you down? Because of how they feeling. How that person is feeling has nothing to do with you. It has nothing to do with you. And you shouldn't let people get under your skin that easy. You got to be a fortress within. If you're having a good day, continue to have a good day. Stop letting people bring you down all the time. Stop letting people, you know, persuade you to change how you feel about yourself. You got to stop that for real. Because if you keep letting that happen, you always going to be attacked. They're going to keep coming back because they know that they got power over you. Okay, when somebody can control your emotions and make you change, they're your master. Okay, guys, you got to understand this. People are your master when they're able to control you. You got to control this within you got to exercise this muscle as well. These things aren't going to just happen overnight or they're not going to just happen because you heard it in my video. You got to exercise these traits, okay, so that they become habits. Your habits turn to routines and your routine becomes who you are every day. Okay, guys? So I want you to get in the habit and, and I actually got some homework for y'all. Yep, we got some more homework. I want you to try to go throughout your whole day without one negative thought. Okay, and I, and I trust me, I know it's hard, man. It might seem impossible, but if you get a negative thought, stop it, block it, right? Put the ad block on it. You know what I'm saying? Don't allow it to consume you and don't feed it energy. When you feed your thoughts energy, they grow and they manifest into your life. Okay, so when you catch a negative thought, block it and don't feed it no energy. Try to go the whole day doing that, man, and see how it makes you feel. You're going to feel a, a great weight lifted off your shoulders. And you're going to see blessings. You know, I, I can't say it no better than that. You're going to see blessings start to come into your life, man, because you're keeping your energy light. All right. 
abundance mindset. You have everything that you need. So that's going to reflect. So I want y'all to try that out. But stay true to yourself, man. Don't let nobody come in here and try to correct you or change you, especially for the worse. That's not their job. It's your job to make sure you stay intact with yourself. Okay? Remember how you felt before you encountered that person. You was good before you came in contact with this person. Now they come and they throwing all their energy on you, all their baggage, and you letting it get to you. Nah, man, don't, 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 don't catch the baggage. They throwing the energy at you. Don't catch it. Drop it. Walk away. Right? Use the first two pointers that I put. Don't take it personal. All right? Kill them with kindness. You got to fight that energy off of you. Okay? You can't sit there and just take it, man. You got to fight it. So, I want you guys to realize this, man. Don't take things personal. All right? People are just projecting how they feel inside. Misery loves company. Okay? That don't mean you got to keep it company. Kill them with kindness. Find the right element to combat the energy that's coming at you, that's attacking you. Okay? Treat, treat your encounters like a Pokemon battle. All right? <laughs> and last but not least, man, stay true to yourself. Always. Always and forever. Okay? No matter what somebody got to say about you, no matter their opinions, no matter how they're feeling, what mood they're in, you be you. And you be you proudly. You be you confidently. You feel what I'm saying? And once you do that, man, you're going to start becoming the best version of yourself. Your aura is going to be so big that can't nothing penetrate you. Nothing can harm you. Okay? But just like the weight room, you got to do the reps. Okay? You got to be consistent with it. You got to be dedicated and disciplined. And when you do this, you're going to see those muscles grow. You're going to see your energy grow. And you're going to see your armor become unpenetratable, if that's a word. <laughs> but, hey, anyway, y'all know what I'm saying. That being said, if you guys want to donate to the channel, I'll leave all my links in the description and in my pinned comments. Also, if you need a consultation, you want to talk to your boy Tay, I'll leave a link for that as well. Y'all have a beautiful day, man, and I'm out. Peace.